Yeah, today I'm going to upgrade the firmware on my Git 2 to version 1.6. It's currently running uh, version 1.5, which is what it came with. And uh, pretty simple to sort of do. Now you would expect that you'd go to support on the web page and you'd go to Git 2 firmware, click over here and would open up the page and you would expect to see 1.6 on the top. Well, you don't. You actually see 1.5. Now to find the uh, 1.6 version we go to support we go to the forum once the forum opens we then go to the git2 um, action camera you click on that open it and you'll see there's a firmware here git2 firmware click on that and lo and behold, here it is, Git 2 version 1.6, released on the 28th of October. That's the latest stable version. So you just simply left click that, and we go and save it. Now, after you've downloaded the firmware, you just simply go to wherever the folder is physically stored. There's mine, which is the Git 2. Now I use ZZIP as my um, an archiving uh, system. Now we just extract it to the folder, left click twice, and we're interested in this file here which is the uh, git2 firmware bin. Now what you've got to do there is simply right click, copy. Now I've already inserted my SD card into my system, into my computer, which is sitting in under here and you just simply right click again and paste. Now that's all you've got to do. Okay, I've uh, inserted the little SD card and to fire it up we press the button on the front as you can see it's rattling there, we turn it over and you can see the red light is flashing. Now it's a slow flash and what it's indicating is that it's actually doing a bit of work in the background. It's upgrading the firmware. So we'll let it go. You can see it's happily rattling along a bit faster. And uh, a couple of seconds from now we should have the welcome message from GitHub. And here it comes. So that's a successful uh, firmware upgrade. Okay, so uh, we've now finished mucking around. I'll just put it out of uh, out of view for a second. So I was pressing the wrong button. We've got to get it into the system settings, which you can see there. Press the button on the top again. And uh, we go through. And eventually we will find what we're looking for, I hope. There it is, version number, and uh, as you can see there, 1.6. So now that you've successfully um, upgraded your firmware to 1.6, it's now to have uh, time to have a bit of a look at the config file. Now we just double click that, I'll just pop it to the side. The one we're really interested in is this bin file down the bottom, which is a UI config file. Now I've got mine configured to open with uh, WordPad, and uh, you'll notice that We've got uh, a heap of settings on here at the moment. We've got the date stamp is turned on. Well, I don't want the stamp turned on. I want it turned off. So we just turn it off there. Now, all your commands are actually on this side here. So you've got a choice of like date stamp. It says on or off. Uh, photo size 16, 12, 8, 5, 3. And again, if you look over here, we've got it at 16 meg. So we can we can put any of these figures that we see on this side here and replace what you see in the actual bin file. So scrolling down to the bottom here, like what have we got here um, coming along. Auto power off in three minutes. No, I don't want that. What have we got here? Auto power off. Scrolling through. Auto off. Uh, 60 minutes that'll do. We'll just simply copy and come over here and we will replace that with a 60 minute. So that's now 60 minutes, and the screensaver, I want that to be turned off um, as I use the little viewfinder. Now we go 
back and you can see basically you just uh, modify any of these uh, parameters to whatever you particularly want to be fired up as your standard uh, config file once you've got it set the way you want it you just simply come up and simply save it we'll get rid of that uh, there right click copy and again you come back to uh, your sim card and simply paste and uh, basically that's all you've got to do it's uh, simple as that but I'll be cert certain to <laughs> save your bin file for uh, future references when the upgrades come along uh, it's something very very handy for you okay we've got the uh, little SD card inserted and we're having a bit of a play with it now we need to use the power on and the menu key we need to press them both at the same time to get the config file to actually work so I'm holding them down both at the moment and there it is the little message to tell me that it has been successfully upgraded done so all those configurations that we did earlier are now sitting in our menus so that's pretty pretty nifty I reckon saves a lot of mucking around you can see I've turned uh, what have we got here uh, let's have a look I'm just going through these to have a bit of a look to make certain of things that I've actually modified. Yeah, I turned on gyro and yep, Y dynamic range is both on. Um, pretty well everything else I've left standard. I've ch mucked around with the uh, the uh, time. Um, so I like to keep my screen on a little bit longer than what uh, is actually showing here. So that's okay. We get out of that. We get out of the menu and I'll press the button in the front a couple of times and we go into system settings let's have a bit of a look at that okay let's have a look now we've got um, let's see if we've got the rest of the modifications that I've actually already done in here uh, yep I've got that turned off which is good date stamp is off auto power has set to 60 minutes suits me fine which is what I wanted to do and it looks like every setting that I've done has actually uh, been saved. So, yeah, it saves you all the hassles of having to go through them manually and do them. So by using that little config file, saves a heck of a lot of time. It's a great idea from Git2. Very impressed with it. And that's the main reason that I've actually upgraded the uh, firmware in here to uh, 1.6. And uh, I'm sure you'll do the same. It's uh, very, very good.